In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Open Speed Test on a Synology NAS. And this is Open Speed Test Server, so it sets up a server in a Docker container and which you can use to test your speed of your devices on your network between those and the Synology NAS, which will give you an idea, for example, of say wireless devices which are connected to Wi-Fi. So it'll give you a speed test between your wireless device and your Synology NAS, which is connected via ethernet cable into your network. So it will give you a speed test between the Synology NAS and the actual client device. So what we'll do first is, as you can see on screen, I'm logged into my Synology NAS. And what we need to do is open up Package Center. You can do this via the shortcut if you have one on your desktop like I do, or you can go into the main menu and select Package Center. So with Package Center open on the screen, in the search bar, you need to type in Docker and then press Enter. This should then bring up Container Manager, which is the Docker Container Manager. And there should be an install button if you haven't already got this installed on your system. If you have, then you can skip this step. So what we need to do is click install. Then if you're presented with the container manager install and select a destination volume to install the package window, you may or may not receive this window. Because I've got multiple hard drives in my Synology NAS, it's asking me where I want to save the actual application to. I'm going to be saving it onto the default one, which is volume one, as there's plenty of space available on that drive. So I'll click next and then click done. And make sure you have run after installation ticked as well. It's not essential, but you might as well have it ticked while we're actually installing it. So we're just waiting for it to install. And now you'll see that under installed packages here, we now have container manager. So that means it's actually installed. So what we can do now is close the package center window with the X button and then go into the main menu. And then you'll see container manager in there. What I'm going to do is right click on it and add a shortcut to the desktop just to make it easier to access in future. And as you'll see, we now have Container Manager on the actual Synology desktop. So we'll click on it once to open it. Then we'll go to Registry. Then for the search box, we'll type in Open Speed Test, all as one word. This should then bring up the search results. You'll see the first one in the list is Open Speed Test slash latest. So we'll click on this twice and then choose a tag. It says please choose a tag we can have latest or we can have previous versions. We'll go for the latest version and click apply. As you can see it's now downloading Open Speed Test Latest. Now you'll see it's automatically taken us to the image menu option and we have open speed test latest in the list of images so if we click on it to open it and then if we click run you should be presented with the general settings window here you'll see that the image name is open speed test forward slash latest and the container name is open speed test hyphen latest hyphen one we can actually rename it so let's just go for open speed test. All as one word, but with capitalization in the words. You can call it whichever container name you so wish. So with the container name as open speed test, 
enable resource limitation, CPU priority set to medium, memory limit I'm setting as 4096 megabytes or alternatively 4 gigabytes but depending on how much RAM you have in your system you can adjust this accordingly. Enable auto restart is also ticked and set up web portal via web station is actually unticked. So then we'll click next and then we'll scroll down to network and under the network section for the network we need to select host. So make sure that the network is selected as host and that's the only item we're going to be changing in there. So click next and then leave ticked run this container after the wizard is finished. Click done. You'll now see that the status is in use for the image and then under container we have status as green with the uptime as one minute and open speed test is actually up. If we go to the overview you'll see that systems are healthy, all services are healthy. We've got one image which is 172 megabytes and one containers are healthy. So we can now close this container manager window. We can actually log out of our Synology NAS by clicking the person icon and then click sign out. So then we'll open a new tab and then in the address bar we'll type in the IP address of our Synology NAS followed by a colon and then port number of 3000 and press enter. So you should be entering the IP address of your Synology NAS whatever that may be and then the colon and then make sure you enter the port number of 3000 and click enter. This will then bring up the open speed test client application. So all we need to do now is click start and what this will do is generate speed test results between this PC that I'm on at the moment and the Synology NAS on our network. Now just to point out that my Synology NAS does have a 10 gigabit Ethernet card in it um, and also my PC does so we'll probably get a lot higher results than what you might get if for example your network cards are only 1 gigabit or 2.5 gigabit network cards and this also depends on the speed of your switches and other apparatus in your network. So just consider this when you're reviewing the speed test results here for download and upload and also the ping and the jitter. So anyway, let's get this started by clicking the start button. Are you ready? 20 seconds start now. Ten seconds remaining. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Here we are with the speed test results. You can see download. I've got eight thousand five hundred and ninety-six point nine megabits per second, and the upload is. 9,879.6 megabits per second. The ping time is one millisecond and the jitter is zero. So that shows you how to use open speed test client and server applications on your Synology NAS in a Docker container and it gives you speeds of your network devices between two of your network devices contained within your network, which can be useful for troubleshooting, for example, if you find that the speeds on your network devices are not as good as what they should be. Could be something to do with cabling, for example, or the connection or the plugs, but at least it gives you an idea of what speeds you're getting between certain devices on your network. Hope you found this short video useful. Keep a lookout as further videos are coming real soon.